Hi there. It's Wednesday, 7 o'clock. Johnny Daniel, Independent Demonstrator with Stampin' Up! How are you tonight? I hope well. So a couple things to remind you of. If you like the ink, Inked in Expressions 12x12 Designer Series Paper, then you'll want to take a look at the Paper Pumpkin Kit for this month. It coordinates with it. Um, makes nine cards and well, the box is gorgeous. I haven't seen the inside. So you might want to take a look. Um, there's also two, bon two bonuses this month. One is for, let me think for a second, the hosts, sorry. So if you host a class through the month of May, and um, the only weekend I have left available is... Memorial Day weekend, so that may not work for you. Um, I also have weekdays. I also have virtual. I also have bonuses. I also have, you can just collect orders and hope for the best. You need to make it to 250. So if your wish list is super, super long, um, once you hit 250, you get as a host 10%, the $25, but you get a bonus of $25 as well to spend. So that's a really good deal. And if your wish list is super long, or you just want the discount, and you don't want to have, want to have any neg negative impact for signing up, you can sign up for $99, free shipping, only tax, so about 108, give or take, and you have a bonus this month. Instead of $125 for um, the $99 sign up, you have $155. So that's a $30 bonus on top of everything. So tonight we're going to be creating with triangles. So I want to tell you to comment if you would like the um, instructions and order $50 by Monday night. The code's in the caption and the link's in the caption and all that kind of stuff. Um, if you would like the materials to make this. So thanks so much for joining me. I'm gonna flip you around and we're gonna get to creating now. Hold on. So I see that two are on with me. Please say hello, comment, all that kind of fun stuff. I am going to get my computer up and refreshed so I can keep up with the comments and everything else that happens no problem so give me two seconds so um, the triangle um, card that you see there um, that is what I'm going to be creating for you tonight it's actually fairly easy hey Lise howdy to you hey Barb <laughs> so and then, hey Pam, how are you, honey? Um, and Lise, I have to say, you've encouraged me to keep running because for a while I was thinking, huh, maybe I'll just. Nope. So I made 25 minutes again today. <laughs> so, oh, okay. As you would say, I have earned my margarita for the night. So, for this card, my dears, you will need the Simply Elegant 12x12 Designer Series Paper or Specialty Paper. I'm not sure. Let's see. I didn't put it on my list. So, oh well. Um, you will also need the Elegantly Said Cling Stamp Set if you want those exact words. If you don't want those exact words, Happy Thoughts works too and a whole bunch of others. So, just FYI for you. Um, Let's see, what else? Metallic pearls, regular pearls, and all this you'll get with a $50 order if you do that. Let's see, what else, what else? I'm trying to think. Well, let's just get started. It'll come. <laughs> so, so for this card, are we ready? I hope so. <laughs> so. So on my desk, I have elegantly said, and I have happy thoughts as an extra alternate, but on my block, I already have wishing you a wonderful birthday. Yes, it's the same one I did before, but I always need birthday cards. So 
I've got my metallic pearls and my basic pearls on my desk. I've got my basic gray ink pad. I have, even though I've already punched them all, I've got my everyday label punch. Um, <laughs> thanks, Lise. Man, I have to tell you, I had to take some Advil to, you know, walk without looking like I just got off a horse. But hey, okay. All right, so basic gray ink pad we need and stamp and seal and dimensionals so stamp and dimensionals stamp and seal plus now i'm making it so cluttered that i can't move okay so for this card we have thick basic white cardstock cut at eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter on it goes Okay, then I have cut, and I'll have to remember, let's see if I can remember all the measurements. Well, first I have a black and a white already punched out, okay? I did do some pre-planning this time, okay? <laughs> so you didn't have to sit and watch me and this, that, <laughs> okay? So basic black, I have this cut at five and a quarter by four. This is where it's gonna get interesting because there's four mats and I usually only do two or three. So we'll see how much I can remember. This is the Elegant, um, Simply Elegant Designer Series paper. This is cut at five by three and three quarters. That's the other side of that. Then I've got a piece of gray granite. And if any of you did card class with me, how many miles in the 25 minutes? Well, I walked five to warm up and I walked five to cool down and then ran for 25. So it was 35 total and I did two point, just under 2.4. So right now I'm just trying to make however many minutes and then the second round of Couch to 5K will be for time and distance and all that kind of stuff. So, but we're getting there, <laughs> definitely because two weeks ago it was one point something. So like 1.8 that I was stuck at. So I'm happy that it's at two point something. So anyways, so this is gray granite. This is cut at, uh oh, I lost my train of thought. Three and a half by four and three quarters. <laughs> and then last but not least, the last piece of the Simply Elegant designer series paper and this guy is cut so I don't tell you the wrong thing at three and a quarter by four and a half okay so a couple things one you'll want to make sure you don't get dust on your card evidently I have a pile of dust somewhere so I'm gonna flip this stack over backwards and here's the why that way I can glue down what I need to and cut what I need to as I go okay so I've got my stamp and seal. Hopefully I'm gonna be halfway straight. Yeah, I did pretty good. A Little bit on this side, but hey, okay. And then I'm grabbing my paper trimmer. It's coming around, hold on. Let me move these so they don't get stuck on the bottom of it. Cause I don't think I'd find them. <laughs> All right, so paper trimmer. Okay, and what we're going to do is we are going point to point diagonal. Doesn't matter the size, you just wanna go point to point diagonal. And the closer you can get to the point so you don't have flat spots, the better. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna run here. Now, don't separate them because we're gonna keep them together and we're just going to rotate. And we're gonna go point to point again with that cut in the middle. So I'm being very careful to not separate. If you do, just put them back together, not a problem. So there's our four, okay? If I can pick them up. Okay, so we're gonna leave those to the side. The gray I'm not cutting. And then this one, the smaller one, same thing, point to point. Now. You notice I'm starting on the left-hand corner. It doesn't matter which corner, but for some reason, when I'm holding it, if I turn to the right it or to the left, it 
stays together better. For some reason, if I cut and then do it this way, my fingers just don't work as well. I don't know, but I have found that out after doing quite a few of these. So I go this way. It doesn't matter though. Any point to point. Hey, Pen, how are you, honey? Hey, Pen, um, this card we're going to do tomorrow. So you're going to have a head start. Yay. <laughs> so hold on. Let's see if I have the point to point. Okay. I do. You want to make sure to have a sharp blade as well, because if it is dull, it's going to catch your corner and then you'll have this one blunt corner. Okay. So you want to make sure your blade is sharp like normal, but you really want to for this. Okay. So here's my pile of smaller. Here's my pile that I'm going to deal with now. Bring back my, yeah. So the last one, I don't know if you can see it back here, but the gold was here and the gray was here. So I'm just going to flip them just to be different because well, I get tired of doing the same thing. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I got to be different. Always, right? I mean, you hear that with me all the time, right? Let's see how we can make this different. <laughs> you should see me at conventions and stuff. Oh my gosh. All right, so remember I'm doing opposite, which means I need to glue on the side I don't want instead of the side I do. Okay. And we're not going to have it stuck to our thumb. So I can place this hopefully halfway straight. Oh man. Okay. We'll see. We'll see how we did. <laughs> you don't know if it's completely straight or not until you put that last piece in and the whole thing goes like this. <laughs> so, so yeah, so this was such a gorgeous card. I, um, was prepping this for a private class I'm doing tomorrow. See, not straight, but hey, it's okay. That middle is going to get covered, so you're good. Um, so I was prepping this for a private class, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to share this. And then, hey, Serene, and then I'm like, well, what if Penny's on? Well, what if Penny's on? Then you'll halfway know what's going on, and you can, like, act like you're smart and stuff. <laughs> Right, Pen? <laughs> so there you go. All right, so now I'm grabbing my gray granite mat. There we go. It boogered out a little bit, so here we are. Yes, I'm covering all of this. So honestly, only this little part shows. So if you wanted to trim here and trim here and trim here and trim here and have more triangles, you could do that. But that's not what I'm doing right at the moment, but you are more than welcome to save paper that way. Okay, so now I'm going opposite again. So we're going to do the black and white up here and vice versa. Okay, so this guy I am going to try to glue. Patience, patience. Got my glue going so fast that it's going out the out the door. So, so here we go. And I'm trying to get it lined up. So if you want to know how far from the edge to go, measure quarter to corner and then make it equidistant and then you'll be just fine. I hope that makes sense. It's a little tip. So these guys are going to be the flowers up. This is the same flowers in the stamp set. And I always have a tendency to want to put the points that way. No, you have to do this, this way. Okay. So now, hopefully I got all of these right and they're going to be fine. I think I, I think I did okay. Except for maybe this little mat, but hey, we're close. It's it's all good, right? Close is a good thing. Especially when I don't measure. Huh. Alrighty. So there's our came together pretty quick, huh? 
when you have it all pre-cut, it does that. <clears throat> so now I am grabbing my um, punch out on my black. Now, if you want to do emboss in white and do this with the white one instead, you know, you're more than welcome to. But I'm going from the furthest point to the furthest point. If you wanted to go this way, you could, but I'm going this way. So I'm going furthest to furthest. Okay. And then what I'm doing is I'm grabbing the whole thing. And I'm going furthest and hopefully halfway straight, straight, straight. Okay. So I don't know if anybody's planning on joining me on Saturday. So Saturday I'm doing a pay it forward event. What does that mean? Um, that means I'm going to stamp first. That's what that means. But what that means is drop by any time. We're going to do a whole bunch of cards. Bring your own scissors and adhesive. I don't normally require that, but this time I am because I'm donating the bases, the envelopes, and paying for shipping unless somebody donates for the shipping. But I wanted it to be a... Hey, Iris, how are you? So I wanted it to be a semi-free event for you guys because hi, if you're donating, I wanted it to be, but I also didn't want it to cost me a fortune. So here we are. And um, that's what Saturday is all about, okay? So now I'm just, we're just extending the punch. So I'm trying to figure out here. So that's gonna go to the second row here. So I want this to extend out. And now that I have that one, I can do the rest, no problem, okay? So you just gotta kinda figure out where everything starts, finishes, stops, and it's nice that there's a pattern so you can go by it, right? So, so if you're thinking about coming, it's from 10 to 2 on Saturday. Hi, Iris, yes, I know, you will be there. Um, but it's 10 to 2 any time. You don't have to stay the whole time. You could just bring a stack of cards. If you cannot make it Saturday and you still want to donate, it's anything handmade. So if you go on operationgratitude.com, you can see their guidelines. But as far as cards go, the guidelines are pretty much no glitter and not a lot of bling, if any, because... We don't want it to get knocked off, or if it's sitting in Iraq in 130 degrees, we don't want everything to just melt off of it, which is why, you know, bring good glue because we don't know how long they will be sitting or what kind of temperatures. So you just want to make sure that everything stays put. Okay. <clears throat> so there we go with that. See how it's kind of, it's kind of cool, right? <laughs> So now I am grabbing my silver. Um, these are the metallic pearls and I'm wanting to accent the silver in this. If you prefer the copper, get something with copper in it. It's just that simple. If you don't have anything with copper in it, the bronze blend marker, the alcohol markers that we have, the bronze color, that, um, kind of matches the copper, even though it's not metallic. Now, I noticed that the black was kind of getting lost in here. So I figured I would take the opposite of the silver and the black, which is white, grab some basic pearls and throw these, maybe, on here. So there is the illustrious card. <laughs> um, it's for the military and it's also for first responders. So not solely military. If you do letters, you can do them for um, first responders or you can do them for, and first responders is emergency medical, emergency medical nurses, doctors, police, um, fire, sheriff. Am I missing anything? I'm trying to remember. Anyways, um, 
So that's what that is. But seriously, if if you do have questions, either ask me later or go on to operationgratitude.com and read their about, their mission statement, how can you can help. They're actually headquartered right here in Southern California. So it's kind of a cool organization because culturally it's very similar. So because it's based out of Southern California. All right, so I have to ask you, which one do you like? I like both of them, but I honestly think I like more of the gray up here than the filigree, the gold filigree. <sighs> what do you think? Hi, Cheryl, how are you, hun? If you came in late, you'll wanna watch the replay because it's a really actually easy technique. So you'll want to make sure darker, darker. Is that what you mean? Left, right, one or two. <laughs> so you like the left one, Cheryl. Okay. Pam likes two. Okay. Well, I'm keeping both of them, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> but I was just curious what you guys thought. It's amazing how just flipping some things around changes things. I mean, really, you know? It's really amazing how your eye perceives things differently. I would say for spring, I'm probably like this. And if it was for a guy, because there's not as much flower, um, floral, I would say for a guy or for fall, probably the right one, if I had to pick. But I don't. Hey, Roxy, how are you? <clears throat> so, if you're just joining me, catch the replay because I'm just finishing up. And follow me, stampinwithjohnny.com. Hopefully, I will see you Saturday. If you are not able to make it, please, 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 if you would like, donate some cards. Um, not gl No glitter and not a lot of bling. I know if Lisa's watching, don't tell her. Um, but that's the rules. And then I will be shipping this box off, um, right after Memorial Day. So you need to get stuff to me by the end of the month or at least let me know it's coming so I know to wait. Okay. So that is what I have for tonight. I hope you enjoyed. Maybe make the triangles. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? It's, it's all good. Um, so I think that's all I have for you tonight. So if you want to take advantage of the bonuses, if you like the cards, if you, you know, whatever the case may be, <laughs> stay with me, follow me. And thank you so much for joining me. Have a great evening and stampinwithjohnny.com. Thank you. Bye-bye.